Hi, it's Amy from Sawyer, and this video is your tips and tricks guide for the Sawyer Tap Filter, a recent addition to Sawyer's line of high-performance water filtration systems. Sawyer Tap Filter removes biological contaminants and guarantees immediate clean drinking water when the source is compromised. Consider the Tap Filter your pocket-sized peace of mind for all questionable sources, whether for natural disasters or boil alerts or for campgrounds, festivals, and RVs, and when traveling internationally. For the full product overview and tech specs, head to sawyer.com tap to learn more. The tap filter uses the same high performance hollow fiber membranes found in other Sawyer filters, and it can be backwashed and reused over and over, though there are some important things to know about the tap filter to extend the lifespan of the product. The blue rubber seal and ring on the base is unique to the tap filter and fits over smooth faucets 17 to 20 millimeters in size. Never try to force the tap filter over threaded faucets or spigots. Instead, use the threaded spigot adapter to ensure a correct fit. If you're not sure if the tap filter will fit your faucet or spigot, use the tap filter gauge to test proper sizing. To fully clean the tap filter, you need more pressure going backwards through the filter than you had going forwards. Therefore, we do not recommend using the filter at full force on your faucet. Slowly turn on the tap until you feel like the filter is about to pop off then turn down the pressure so you can backwash with greater pressure. Whether in regular use or while cleaning, do not use water exceeding 135 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot for your tap filter. For use with a smooth tap, simply attach the filter by itself to any smooth tap 17 to 20 millimeters in size. Slowly turn on the water until you feel like the filter is about to pop off, then turn down the pressure and filter into a clean container. If you have a threaded faucet or spigot, use the filter's threaded spigot adapter to eliminate wear on the rubber seal ring while ensuring a perfect fit. To do this, screw the spigot adapter onto the threads of your faucet or hose bib, push the tap filter onto the smooth side of the spigot adapter, and slowly turn on the water until you feel like the filter is about to pop off. Then back down the pressure and filter into a clean container. If you need a longer reach, or if your container does not fit under your tap, use the included hose extension. You'll first need to assemble the hose by pushing the blue adapter onto the tube, then simply thread the blue adapter onto the tap filter. Slowly turn on the water until you feel like the filter is about to pop off, then turn down the pressure and filter into a clean container. Clean your tap filter frequently with the included backwash adapter to ensure a fast flow rate. To do so, thread the backwash adapter to the top of the tap filter, then push the backwash adapter onto a smooth tap. If you're cleaning the filter on a threaded tap or hose bib, use the spigot adapter to protect the backwash adapter's rubber seal. Slowly turn on the tap until you feel like the filter is about to pop off and let it run for at least 30 seconds. It's important that right after you backwash, you run a pint of water forward through the filter and toss it out. This flushes out any contaminants that may be in the filter. If you own a different Sawyer filter like the Squeeze or Mini, you can use the backwash adapter to clean that filter or the dual threaded adapter to go forwards with that filter. To backwash the Squeeze filter or other threaded Sawyer filters like the Micro Squeeze or the Dual Threaded Mini, simply screw the backwash adapter onto the threads of the filter, then backwash. And remember to discard the first pint of water after you backwash any Sawyer filter. The Dual Threaded Adapter allows you to turn your other Sawyer threaded filters into a tap filter. First, attach the Dual Threaded Adapter to the backwash adapter, screw this onto the bottom of your filter, then attach it to your tap. The tap filter needs to be stored out of direct sunlight in a dry area and should not be used if frozen. The filter is safe from freezing temperatures if it has not been used. However, after the fibers are wet, there is no definitive way to tell if the filter has been damaged due to freezing. If you suspect your filter has been frozen, we suggest airing on the side of caution and replacing the filter. Also note, using the filter with a garden hose could cause a residual rubber taste. We recommend using food grade hoses such as those sold with RV supplies. For more info, visit sawyer.com tap or send us an email to customer at sawyer.com.